preview. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jalen. Now you may be looking at this photo and notice something looks off. Hmm. Why is there a poor little dumb black boy 20 meters up in the air blinking his arms like the poor chicken from Chicken Run who thought he could fly? dumb poor little black boy and now you're probably sat there asking yourself how in the f did i find myself flung off the side of a castle wall well let's find out guys i just busted the shit out of my mouth everything is bleeding i lost the gopro it's just like Okay, this video is split into two different parts. The first part of this video is me doing like all the cliff jumping stuff, and then like the last 10 minutes or something of this video is me going on like a Game of Thrones tour around Dubrovnik. If you didn't know, Dubrovnik, Croatia is where Game of Thrones was filmed, so you can like see some of the family locations. So I went like a little tour. That's like the last 10 minutes of the video, but the rest of it is all the cliff jumping stuff, and like the very last clip is me teasing where I'm going next, like my next country. Anyway, okay, enjoy. Bro, I just walked around this corner and there's like old lady goes, Oh, it's Mickey Mouse. Then like the old lady's like daughter whispers something to her. Then the old lady goes, "Oh, I thought it was a hat." <laughs> bro, why do I hate him, bro? That baby hating on my hair, bro. I don't think I can wear my hair like this. I'm tired of all these Mickey Mouse references. Like it's just a hairdo. It has nothing to do with Mickey Mouse. Stop it. But nonetheless, guys, we're going over this area to do some pretty high cliff jumping, right? Be the highest I jumped off of. I don't know. We'll see when I get here. This should be fun. Guys, I should have just had somebody record the one, bro. I just jumped from the freaking thing, bro. And that's just high as fuck, bro. Like, I just... You hit the water so damn hard. I smacked my hand. Busted my fucking lip, bro. Like, I heard spitting out blood. Bro, you hit that water so fucking hard, bro. But like, I had nobody record it. Like, I was gonna backflip off of that, but fuck that, bro. Because if you don't land right, bro, and you like hit not just your feet on that water, you're gonna break something or it's just gonna hurt very badly. So I'm debating if I wanna jump one more time. Just normally just to have somebody record just to have the evidence that I did it, but that should be nothing. But let me show y'all how high this shit is. Bro, this is where you jump from, bro. Okay, just because that past clip didn't really paint like a good picture, it kind of just immediately showed the aftermath of one of my jumps. Like in that last clip, I said specifically, this is where people are jumping from. But like, it, there wasn't just one place people were jumping from. It was an entire cliffside full of like different spots people were climbing to and jumping from. And like, there was multiple rocks you could jump from. It's just, I had just got there and immediately went and jumped from this one because like, it looked like the main one and looked like the one everybody was jumping from and it looked decently high. I would say it was maybe like, I don't know, 10 or 12. I have no idea. Something like that meters high. I don't know. But yeah, it's there. There's you're going to see the rest of the video and you're going to see like me jumping from other places. It's just like, don't think that there was only one spot or that this was the main one. It's just kind of how I worded it. And no, this is not the jump nor cliff that you've seen in the intro clip, obviously, as that was damn near twice this height. But when I first got here, I thought this was the highest that you could jump from. And but yeah, what you seen in the clip before this, like my busted bleeding lip and everything happened from this jump. So it's kind of foreshadowing what's gonna happen when I jump from somewhere nearly twice this high. I don't know if this is doing justice to just how high that shit is. But just know that shit is high as fuck and that shit just hurt very badly.
breath. I just want to show you guys how high this shit looks. I don't know if y'all can tell, bro. I think from down there you could tell better. Yeah, I think it's something like 20 meters. Okay, no, 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 no. See, this is the one that I thought was 20 meters, but I'm unfortunately going to come there and find out that it was not the one. I don't know, again, I don't know how high any of these actually are, because like I have a measure, measuring tape, I'm just going off what like other people are saying. I would say this is maybe like half the height of the one that I eventually get flung off of. Um, as I would say it's maybe like 10 meters or something like this. Again, I don't really know, but yeah, I would say it's, yeah, maybe 10, 11 meters. Or some shit. That shit is, it's, it's high as fuck, bro. That shit fucking hurt. But you only live fucking once, so fuck it, bro. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta YOLO and do it, bro. And yeah, you only live once, guys, so fear nothing. Do everything, try everything, and don't think too much about stuff. And don't think too much in the moment, just fuck it, bro. Whatever happens, happens. If you die, you die. But what are the likelihoods that happen? The likelihood is not high, so. Yeah, YOLO. I think that's a good way to live life because it's very much true. Alright guys, he's gonna fucking go for it. You know, guys, now that I went, everybody else is coming down and wants to go. Everybody wants to watch. I think I inspired the masses, guys. Let's fucking go. Beautiful. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Guys, he did the same thing as me and busted his lip. Now we both busted our lip. Hey, I did the same thing. Mouth was open. Bad decision. Said many of Diddy's victims, probably. Mouth was open. Bad decision. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. <laughs> but say you did it. Now you can say you did it. That's what matters. And you have the video. Uh -huh. Mykonos. Yeah. I did not like Mykonos either. No. It was a bit overrated. I, well, I felt that about Santorini. No, so I'm the opposite. Really? I think Santorini was like, everyone said it was going to be shit, but I actually kind of liked it. But Mykonos... Uh. I didn't like so much. To me, Santorini, I don't know, it was cool, it was fun. You get to see the white buildings, I think. Yeah. I met a lot of people there, and it's like, it was fun. But Meek knows it just kind of felt a bit like, I don't know. No, I get it. No, that? Beautiful. Shout out to, what is your name? Oakley. Oakley, and where are you from? Oh, it's And we both just busted our fucking lips <laughs> jumping off this high ass freaking cliff diving. <laughs> Definitely the highest thing I jumped off of. And you definitely hit the water hard as shit, which is why we both just busted our fucking faces. On top of that, I think I was told that like last week or two weeks ago, two people like were drunk and like fell off or jumped off or something. And one of the ladies is now in a coma. And the other guy, I think he just broke his hip because I think he landed on the girl, which is why she got so much more fucked up. Maybe they like landed on the rocks or something. But yeah, I think she's now in a coma. So I think that does justice to how fucking high it is. Like, bro, he's going again. This dude is fucking crazy. Wait, he might as well Quick backstory. So we were all just like chilling, just vibing, talking, whatever. And then out of nowhere, these like two random guys just come out of nowhere and they start climbing up the freaking cliffside up to like this top little area. And we're all like, what are they doing? They're insane. And my tail, where they're at like right now is like double the height of what I was jumping off of that I thought was like so insane. Like they came out there and they just all just looked like a bunch of pussies, climbed up this thing and jumped off. And we were all like, oh my God. And then they went back and did it again. So like, this is me recording them doing it a second time. But just know this is like twice the height of what like the rest of us or like me and the other guy had jumped off of and even that was high like we were all watching them like oh my god they're insane like they're gonna kill themselves let's jump Walk from the top of the castle <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck am i looking at bro 
And real quick guys, here's a clip from one of my previous views when I was walking the top of the wall so y'all can see what it looks like from the top of the wall. Yeah, so you go cliff diving from up here and I think it might be your last cliff dive ever, but I mean, at least somebody will be able to say you did it. You won't be able to say you did it, but <laughs> somebody out here, if you will be able to say you did it. Because yeah, you hit that water, it's 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 gonna hurt it's it's not gonna feel too good but i'm sure in like times of panic when people were like they were invading the walls and shit actually ain't no way you're getting up this damn wall this is too damn high but maybe some of the walls they panicked and they were like got lit on fire and they just like jumped off into the ocean i mean maybe if you land feet first you'll survive but you breaking some feet and some legs as you can hopefully see it was high as shit but okay back to the video what's this for <laughs> like i thought i was living life on the edge but guess not oh my god i can see it coming through we this dude is freaking different maybe that one oh my god <laughs> I don't think he has oh, actually. Put it in the freezer. Oh, put it in the freezer. Oh! Oh, that was a bit of a yeah, slap. No, no, no. Nah, and that's, that's killed you. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Drink. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so after seeing that, I ended up just leaving and going on about the rest of my day and doing whatever, whatever. But then, like, the whole rest of the day and that night, I was just thinking about how that guy jumped from basically twice the height that i had jumped from and like in my head after i had jumped from where i jumped from i thought that was like the highest one and i thought i was so cool whatever whatever and then they came out and made me basically look like a pussy and i'm like no like i can't be getting one up like this if they can do it and survive Jalen, you can't be a little bitch so anyway the next day in the morning i ended up coming back before like i left and well this is what happened up oh, guys uh I can't be getting one up like this, so we're back to jump from here. But yes, I can't be getting one like that. I've been pre-gaming in my head all day, and you know I realized you just gotta fucking go for it, so fucking YOLO. <laughs> but first, I had to warm up with some baby jumps before I just went straight into the most adrenaline rushing scary shit I've ever done. I think there's been enough talk. It's time for the main event. So I had brought my GoPro up to the top of the thing, like to where I was about to jump, guys, so I could show y'all what it looks like and like show me jumping so you can really get the like first person effect. But then I got up there and my GoPro had no storage space. As well as the fact that when I hit the water, I ended up, like I hit the water so hard that it knocked my GoPro out of my hand and it sunk like 15 meters like down to the bottom of the ocean. And like, so I was going around scrambling, trying to find like snorkeling gear. I was like thinking, who can I call? Like my GoPro had so much like things on it. I'm like, bro, I can't just lose this forever. Like, and it has my SD card in it. So anyhow, basically I went, bought some goggles, came back and like freaking hit some epic scuba dive. But obviously like without scuba gear to the bottom of the freaking like little ocean, I guess you could call it. And somehow seen like a glint, like a glare in my GoPro's reflection screen and see my GoPro, went back there, grabbed it and then yeah, got it and whatever. But like, I'm so annoyed because if it had been recording, I got to see the whole jump and see like what it looked like as it sunk to like the bottom of the ocean. That would have been so cool to have seen. 
And it's crazy guys, I just jumped, this is like the smaller one, I just jumped from up here, there's been people who have jumped from the top of this castle. Maybe I'll leave the name below or the guy's channel and what the video is called, but you can see people jumping from the top of the castle all the way down. Okay, here's just a quick compilation of a couple other people jumping. Um, I'll leave other channels on the video. Um, yeah, keep in mind though, these people are all like professional cliff jumpers, which I am not. Here's a clip of people jumping from the very top of the castle wall like maniacs. You can't get up there. No, I think this will be easier. You got it. Just don't think about it, just go. You gotta push far though. See, I think you're telling her to push far, it's like psyching her out. I think you just tell her, just jump. Jump forward. <laughs> Forward. Beautiful. Now you can make it to her. You can break down. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. You're thinking about it too much. Yeah. You got it. Three, two, one. Woo! Beautiful. You too. Shout out to my fellow cliff jumper. What is your name? Darren. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys. Um, bro, I freaking brought my GoPro all the way up there and then dropped my GoPro when I hit the water because I hit it so hard it knocked it out of my hand. And I brought it up there so I could record the jump down for all of you who have a fear of heights because it was definitely high shit. And I wanted to show y'all the top, but I didn't feel like going back up there. But nonetheless, I brought it up there to like show y'all and show me jumping down just to add to the fear factor. And my GoPro was out of freaking storage space. And I didn't feel like just standing up there high shit while everybody was waiting on me trying to delete stuff and whatever, whatever. And I got I had somebody else recording like down below with my phone, but yeah, I wanted to like record the jump down because it's like a once in a lifetime type of thing. Maybe not once, but yeah, you feel me. Anyway, my SD, my GoPro is SD card was out of space. So I brought up there, but anyhow, when I hit the water, it knocked my GoPro out of my hand and it sunk to the freaking bottom of the damn ocean. And like, I couldn't see, and everyone was like, maybe go get some goggles, whatever. So I went and spent 20 euros on some damn goggles. And, like, I see this little, like, freaking speck of something, like, down below. But, like, it was tiny. I'm like, okay, my GoPro is not this freaking little. But, I, like, it looked the right shape. And so I turned down a little bit. And I was like, oh, wait, I think this is my GoPro. Nonetheless, it was tiny as shit because it was deep as shit. But I was able to swim down there, not drown myself, and got my freaking GoPro. And the only reason, like, I even went for it, like, if I had my SD card, I probably would've just left the GoPro, to be honest. But, like, my SD card has all, like, the stuff I've recorded on it, and I didn't wanna lose all that experience. Like, I swear to you, I would've went and freaking hired some damn scuba divers to get that freaking thing, if I had to. Because there's no, I was just letting my GoPro go, and the SD card go. Anywho, got it. But, more of the story is my ears hurt. My ears feel like 
Well, they feel like I just went to the bottom of the ocean and they keep popping. They're in pain. That was deep as shit that I just swam to. And yeah, ears are fucked. Nose is running. It is high, bro. But I think you just have to go for it, guys. Like, I think yesterday I was just so scared to do anything from the first jump because I stood at the first jump for so long, like legs shaking and like all this anticipation. Like even after the rest of the day, I just felt like this like fear that was just had built up in me. And like, I was even scared to jump from the smaller jump yesterday. I have to jump from like the, well, I guess we'll call it the in-between. It's like high, but not the highest apparently. Like I was scared to jump from a smaller one because there was so much fear that had built up in me from that first jump. Versus today, I like, went jump from the smaller one, backflip from the like the smaller one, jump from the fucking super high one, and yeah, like I feel fine now. And I did it and didn't get the cool footage because I know it's D-card space, but still got a video of me jumping and it's like now now I have the memory and I can say I jumped from a 20 meter clip because I figured out that's actually the one that's 20 meters. You know, why did somebody steal the damn lion from freaking Warner Bros? This dog is big as shit. Oh yeah, and in case you wanted the damage report. Can you even tell? Um, there you go. Busted my lip again. So now I have the... Okay guys, a bit more in the action, after action report. So, that, that, and this happened yesterday when I jumped. They looked a lot worse yesterday than they do now. And then, this is what happened from the one. Definitely like split that like little middle thing. Yeah. So that's the after action jumping. Oh yeah, and also, Knocked out my earring. So now I'm missing an earring. Which is honestly what I was scared of. Like I figured like hitting the water that hard that like I was gonna like rip some of these out of my ear or something or knock some of them out and it's gonna start bleeding, but none of them did. I lost this one. And also my nose. I figured I'd like hit my nose hell hard and that's gonna happen there, but it's only really in my mouth. So make sure if you go cliff jumping you keep your freaking mouth closed or shut or something. I don't even know how this is happening or how I keep messing up my mouth. But yeah, that's the after cliff jumping action report tomorrow. But also to my list of cliff jumping injuries, I somehow cut my finger. I don't know if that's from the water or on a rock. Don't know, but didn't notice it after the water. So maybe something with the water. And my fucking hand, bro. I don't know if I can tell, bro. But I think I like busted some of like the blood vessels in my hand or something. Or maybe it's just sore, but like. My fucking hand is a bit sore, bro. Well, actually, it's not anymore. But, like, in some spots, it's definitely so sore. But, yeah, my fucking this shit fucking hurts, bro. Like, touching it, blowing my nose, rubbing my nose. Because it's, like, that, like, piece that, like, connects your, like, lip to your gums. And so, like, when I blow my nose, it moves it. Like, that, this shit fucking hurts. Okay guys, and now like the next little part of this video, next like 10 minutes or something to end the video, is this little Game of Thrones tour I went on. And yeah, so if you're into Game of Thrones, then hopefully you'll find some of this facts and scenes interesting. Um, Cause again, if you didn't already know, Dubrovnik is where Game of Thrones was filmed. Um, and yeah, at the beginning, you're gonna hear the lady like giving the tour very loud, and at the end you're gonna hear her not so loud. Cause at the beginning I had like my camera plugged into like the recording device that like she was talking into so you could hear loud but then after i was just like letting my straight mic pick up her audio and i had it turned down because it was too loud when it was plugged directly into the recording box more of the story it's because i couldn't decide whether it was scummy to like be recording the whole tour or not and so yeah like at the beginning i was like recording it but then i was like okay maybe i shouldn't just be like in a sense kind of ripping off her tour but like not really but yeah, I don't know, I kind of thought it's going to be straight recording like her tour because, you know, she makes money from it and whatever. And so yeah, it's basically a mix of both. And like, I cut out a bunch of parts and it's very chopped up, so it's no, by no means just straight. Like, there's still a reason to go to Dubrovnik and go on the tour yourself because you're going to get a lot more information than my little 10 minutes gives.
Okay, enjoy. Office, what do you think? <laughs> Come here, guys. There's a, some nice breeze. I'm usually Khaleesi, but maybe today I can hand you the title. <laughs> here I have screenshots, uh, so I will show you uh, all, the, all the things. But I want to start from the beginning. I want to explain it to you guys how did it happen that I'm in front of you and I'm talking about the shop. I mean, we have many beautiful cities in the world everywhere, and somehow we got this chance. The grounding became key. So it was a big opportunity, guys. And uh, what I must say to you, Croatia was not the first choice. Okay, so they were not filming here in season one. Season one, Croatia was not on the map. Okay, they were shooting uh, scenes of King's Landing in Malta. Anyone been to Malta, maybe? They were filming something here in this area. It was not a big scene, guys, but I love to show it because of the location. So they were shooting this scene with uh, golden cloaks that were searching for bastard babies of Robert Baratheon. I don't know if you remember this. So they wanted to kill them all, so they will drown some of the babies in the, in the water. It's not a super important scene, guys, but I love to show it because the location <laughs> is very cool. And it's not even changed. Okay, I will stand here, guys, take a look from this, from this angle here. So it uh, looks super, super mm, cool. It's the same like in reality. And what they liked in Dubrovnik, guys, they could save money on CGI. CGI is, the, in case you don't know, the fake stuff they do on the computer. And CGI is something very, very, very expensive, guys. And when they came to Dubrovnik, and in reality, only two doors, am I right? So uh, the thing is, they hire people for CGI. They have to change something. <laughs> they have to still do some changes. So they will do this for no specific reason. Uh, and uh, Lord Baelish, and they were talking on the pier, and he was trying to convince her that she should escape from King's Landing. And Shay was also here. Uh, maybe now you remember this, guys? A little bit better? Yes. Okay, I find this super cool, guys. They will change it a bit. They will add some fake t details on top, but still looks very, very, <laughs> my colleague, uh, very authentic. So <laughs> I think it's actually uh, very cool. Yeah. And do you guys know what is this in the show? What does this represent? By any chance, anyone remembers, maybe? Give it a try. Cersei's castle, exactly. So this is, guys, the Red Keep. Okay, this is how we are going to see the Red Keep. Red Keep is the main main castle where the throne is, where the Lannisters live. In reality, this is the Red Keep, guys, okay? In the show, it's always shown like this. This is something, guys, that I love to call Hollywood magic. You're going to see, guys, when I show you more pictures. The Red Keep is everywhere it makes no sense it's actually all over the city uh, you probably never noticed this but now when i show you the pictures you'll see now it's on the wall but it's also gonna be here and there and there and there all over the place and it's never shown like this uh, it's never shown like this so they use this for the interior scenes of the red keep so i'm pointing it out so later you can you can see when they move and you can see it's i mean it's very much fake right somebody was on the beach we had cersei and actually lots of people and i don't know if you remember but they were sending marcella cersei's daughter she was sent off to dorne and they were all on the beach waiting for the ship for the ship to leave and guys when they were filming this it was february so february in dubrovnik is very quiet we have almost no tourists so when they were shooting on the beach the walls were actually open so if you happen to be on the wall you could so, guys you can see it, uh, the boat was being sent off from this angle. Slobo, no slobo. Nista, nista. It's okay, don't worry. So the boat is here, guys. See? This is where the boat with Marcella was being sent, sent off from. Okay? And you will see now this fort, the real red keep, is just a random fort in the back. They just use it as a decoration. Okay? And I don't know if you, if you guys notice. You see these two towers? They are fake, right? They are not there in reality. But what I love here, guys, I always say they are CGI people, they are CGI and guys. And John and Sansa, all four of them were guys on this pier. This is when they were saying goodbye. I don't know if you remember this. Can you guys in the back see it? Yes. Uh, so this is the scene that was 
filmed here guys so i must say we were pretty happy with the choice that they made i will yeah, hold i this really begged back. my friend eva the one that was a production assistant uh to tell me <laughs> what were they filming because we knew hbo is in town uh, but we didn't know what's going on because everything was blocked and she didn't want to tell me anything because of course she's a professional and you you will notice that potentially a lot of people can see you here we have the walls right people can see you from the wall right and then we have this fort people can see you from there as well and guys if you're without all these people around you seeing you what do you guys think pay, pay. <laughs> money is always <laughs> a good method <laughs> so <laughs> good one they did pay first of all the walls to close uh, even though it was february we only have a few people on the wall but they still paid to get them closed down this would include the fort it's part of the walls technically and then we passed by that square do you remember it was a little square that area was completely blocked. Securities, guards, making sure no one sees who is on set. And guys, this was not enough. People who live here, uh, imagine this, got paid to close the window during the filming. And they wanted to be extra, extra, extra sure they would not secretly record it or something like that. So they had, imagine, wooden barricades on their windows <laughs> to be extra sure they would not like, you know, tape it or something. Okay, guys, and now these next rest of the couple of clips are all going to be like super super low audio and again it's because like i don't know in my head i'm like okay i'll just not record what she's saying and just put like music but like now i'm going like watching if i just put music over everything like then it's not interesting y'all aren't gonna know like what's going on or anything like that and now the audio is so low that i can't even just put like background music plus her audio because you won't hear her at all so now it's like you're just gonna get no music but just super low of her audio i don't i don't know what to do Guys, was of course the uh, defense of the Brownie. It's both the same the sport, and it's defending the Brownie from the seaside. I already showed you the walls. This was protecting the seaside. Uh, and uh, the construction of this fort began in the 11th century, so parts of this are a thousand years old, guys. Uh, but what you see tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a wedding here. So this, as you may imagine, became more popular after Game of Thrones for weddings. So I want to show you this scene, guys. That was filmed inside the Red Keep. So we had, I don't know if you remember, Lord Baelish and Cersei. And Cersei is with her guards. And they were talking about power. I don't know if you remember these guys. So he was trying to blackmail her. And he said, knowledge is power. And then she's like, no, 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 power is power. Now this is guys the panoramic view of uh, of King's Landing as we see in the real life version. I think our Dubrovnik is even more beautiful in person. <laughs> uh, but I'm not the best person to say this because <laughs> this is my city. But no, honestly guys, it doesn't even look much different in reality. So they did a great job here. They are using um, original footage of, of Dubrovnik for an image like this. So some things guys will be fake, some things will be real. Just for the rent, okay? You have to pay extra for everything else. Catering, flowers, la la la. I can imagine how much they charge, you know? They have to carry everything on guys. So they probably charge a lot. And, uh, but yeah, I think it's a very good one. But maybe the guests are not thrilled with the stairs in high heels. <coughs> Joffrey, uh, during his name day celebration, I don't know if you guys remember because I don't want to make you feel old, but this was 2011, so <laughs> quite a while. While ago, so not Joffrey's wedding, guys. This was the day when he was named the king. So he's standing opposite of him, taking it from this perspective. And uh, there was a tournament. On that line. Here, so I'm going to show you everybody first, and I'll stand there so you can take a picture. And I uh, just want to point it out here, guys. What I like in this scene is we can see the walls. Take a look at the walls of the Brownie guys in the back. I don't know if you notice, but every little house. The 
producers had a brilliant idea originally that she starts with the church, <laughs> but of course the church did not agree. Did not agree with that, so this is how it happened. In the that she was on top of the stairs, and she walked not this entire street, guys. <laughs> This street, okay. I'm just showing to everybody. Everybody saw it, yes. Oh my God! No, I'm just here. I think this would be a good, good angle. You can hear me. So the people that you see on this picture, only half. Okay. Five days, yes, exactly. Five days. One thousand euro. Okay, you have to know guys, not everybody got the same amount because they got paid per window. <laughs> so right. depending on windows. And it was 100 euro per window. Not too bad. Okay, well, that's my little mini Game of Thrones tour. If you're into Game of Thrones, then hopefully you enjoyed those couple little scenes. Again, there's much more scenes that were recorded that you can go there and see for yourself if you really want to. But yeah, to anybody who's in the Game of Thrones, hopefully you enjoyed those couple of scenes. Um, after that, like, is it later on that night or the next morning? I can't even remember at this point, but I ended up leaving Croatia. I was leaving Croatia to go on to my next country, which is Egypt, um, which you'll see in the next video. Uh, Anywho, my flight from Croatia to Egypt had a layover in Germany, and or it stopped in Germany. But then in Germany, again, all this is gonna get explained in the next like two or three clips. There's like three minutes left of this video, and it's gonna be my basically journey to Egypt. Um, but drama pursued as my flight got delayed by a very long time. So yeah. You're going to see it, but that's basically the context of what you're about to see is me in my hotel in Germany because my flight got delayed by a long ass time. Um, and so I had to stay the night there. And yeah, that's the context of the next like two or three minutes in, to end the video. Yeah, okay. Oh, but guys, don't think that this was had some bougie ass free food for us that we could just like order whatever. Like it wasn't a restaurant. It's like this little, maybe I'll show you all. It's like this little buffet that only has pasta to eat. And like a little couple things for dessert and like a little couple things for like a weird salad with like carrots and random not looking carrots and beans and shit and the only thing to drink is the water on the table so guess i won't be splurging but yes yeah, so we're going to freaking cairo we're going to egypt but bro i'm getting over freaking german airports like all the Germans I've met have been amazing. And I was just told by my taxi driver that, again, I've been told multiple times, but every keeps telling me Germans are not amazing. It's just because I keep meeting the Germans who are traveling, and that's why I'm meeting only, like, the best Germans. But if I come to Germany, I will rethink all of my decisions. I've heard that multiple times. My taxi driver was just telling me that's why we were driving, having this talk. But, yeah, so on my flight from Greece to... Croatia, my flight stopped in Germany and they lost my fucking luggage, as we all know, which I have finally gotten back two weeks later. But they still have not compensated me all the fucking money that I had to spend. So, and then this time from Croatia to Egypt, my fucking flight got delayed 755 minutes, aka 12 and a half hours. So that's just fucking beautiful. So now my flight does not leave until. 10.35 tomorrow, which is just great. So yeah, I got like free taxi vouchers and a hotel voucher. So that's where we're at now, in a hotel in Germany. But we are at Fancy S. Mayor at this hotel. Boom, 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 he'll hit him with the quick freaking bougie. I mean, maybe it's not that bougie, but like, it's bougie looking to me. So yeah, I got a free hotel night, which, you know, truth be told, also, it has very nice views. We're on like the 20th something, something like 38th floor or something. Maybe I'll record on my phone because you'll be able to see it. But yeah, maybe I got to stay in this nice ass hotel in Frankfurt in Germany. 
because my freaking flight got delayed. Like, of course, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the update. Tomorrow we go to freaking Egypt. Woohoo.